subscribe now and click on the bell icon to never miss learning from Vedanti. Different kind of a setup we'll try. Different kind of a numerical. It's pretty simple one. Huh? Pretty simple one. But it comes for two to three marks in the examination. I'll show you this. Show how you would connect three resistors, each of resistance six ohms, so that the combination has resistance of nine ohms and four ohms. First is nine ohms. You have three six ohm resistors. Six ohms, six ohms, six ohms. You need to connect them so as the equivalent resistance is first time 9 ohms and you rearrange the connection so that it becomes 4 ohms next time. I'll give you the solution here. It's pretty simple. I'll try to tell you. Okay, I'm going to take a new page. I have three resistors. First resistor, 6 ohms. Second resistor, also 6 ohms. Third resistor, listen to it very carefully. It's a very important question, 6 ohms. So three resistors I have, I need to connect them together so that their equivalent resistance is 9 ohms. 9 ohms, right? 9 ohms. Okay. Now listen to me very carefully. If I connect this resistor 6 ohm, first one, and the second one parallel to each other, and the third one in series with both of them, how what I am going to get? Correct. So this connection would give me 1 by 6 plus 1 by 6, which is equal to nothing but 12 by 6 into 6. That is 6 1s are 6 2s are 2 1s are 2 3s are. I must get it as 3 ohms. Correct. 3 ohms is my RP parallel connection. Now, this 3 ohms and the rest 6 ohm is actually in series to each other. So, I'll get a value of 9 ohms. That is my answer. My answer is to get an equivalent resistance of 9 ohms. Two of my six ohm resistors must be parallel to each other and that parallel connection must be connected to a series connection. So I'll get a nine ohms as a value. Similarly, the second question gives me four ohms. Second question is four ohms. How will I get four ohms in this particular scenario? I'll try. I'll try to, you know, manipulate. Achha. So they, they say connect like this, I'll get this answer. If I connect like this, I'll get this answer. If I connect all of them in series, I'll get six plus six plus six, 18 ohms. No, that will not work out. I want the four ohms value. Let's try to connect them in parallel, all the three in parallel. So I have got six ohms here, another six ohms here, and one more six ohms here. Okay, three six ohms in parallel. Let's try to find it out. One by six plus one by six plus one by six. Correct. So if I find it out, what will I get? Quickly tell me what is one by six plus one by six plus one by six? What do you guys get? You get two. Get three. Uh, come on. Show the Rishi. Show, show the Rishi. Give me just one second. I'll unmute you. Okay. Guys, what do you get? One by six plus one by six plus one by six. Come on. Simple one. What do you get? You have six. You have one. Put up zero again. So you'll get six ones are six there. What do you get? LCM. LCM people. Get two. You get two or four. Come on. You get two or four. Okay. Mayak, I'm going to unmute you. One second. Let me find out where is Mayak. Yes. Mayak, I got. Yes. Mayak, please unmute yourself, Mayak. Yes. Mayak, can you hear me? Mayak, click once. Click once, Baba. Yes. Hello. Speak now. Hi, Mehak. How are you? Are Mehak, click once, Baba. You were speaking. Yeah. Hello. Can you hear me, Mehak? Yes, yes. Uh, okay, great. So, Mehak, tell me what did you get after 1 by 6 plus 1 by 6 plus 1 by 6? I get 2 ohms. Sure. Yes, pakka. By pakka. LCM method also and by your method also. So you by get 1 by 6 only. Method. You're getting 2 I ohms get only. Two. Yes. Oh, that's great. That's amazing. Then, so uh, any ideas how we get four ohms here? Any ideas about that? How can we get four ohms? If we can uh, place six ohms and six ohms in series, like all the three in series, 
or two of them in series and one in parallel to them yes that okay, may be let's, possible let, let's try it out together here we have six here we have six so that will give me 12 ohms and both of them connected to one of the resistances okay so that here it will give me six ohms again correct right? so that's that will be 1 by 12 plus 1 by 6 this was your idea no this was yes, your idea yes. right yes this is okay yes this four now this will be get 4 6 into 12 yes so i'll get 18 divided by 6 into 12 that is 6 ones are 6 threes are very good 3 ones are 3 fours are you have got four ohms amazing yes see correct right? now mayak my question would be to you is uh, how can i try to identify this as soon as i look into the question how will i be able to uh, do this Hmm. this may be possible when we are trying to uh, recognize the questions when uh, we have read that in resistance uh, in parallel hmm. resistance we are hmm. uh, taking the total resistance the uh, resistance hmm. we get is less than the individual resistance correct in and Very in good, series huh? uh, to, hmm. uh, equivalent resistance is uh, bigger than the individual uh, resistance we are taking very good so so in this particular so, case Four ohms is also less than the individual resistance. No, then also yes, uh, all in parallel. I'm not uh, getting. Some, sometimes hmm. this uh, doesn't happens. We have to uh, uh, check whether it is uh, exactly. uh, trial we, and we to, trial method. Exactly. We need to keep on doing. We need to do trial and error method to get it correct. Great, Mehak. Great. Yes. Amazing, Mehak. I have one class for you here. Very good, Mehak. Thank you for helping me out. Thank you, sir. As you guys see, as you guys saw here, Mehak helped me out to do it very fantastically, and she actually gave a very important point here. She said. sir when i have a series connection the equivalent resistance will always be greater than the individual resistances exactly correct and when i have a parallel connection the parallel connection equivalent resistance will be less than the individual resistances amazingly correct that's a very precise answer